Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Now this isn't usually the setting I have for my videos but then I'm changing it up a bit today because firstly this is the one day off that I have so I'm a bit free today. So I did a bunch of laundry in the morning and now I have to fold in. So you're gonna watch me fold my laundry as I talk about the two Lucy Foley books that I've read, The Hunting Party and The Guest List and how similar and dissimilar they are. I'm just gonna bring up Lucy Foley's bio up here because I read the guest list first and then I read the hunting party so I don't know in which order she actually um, published these. So okay according to this she first published the hunting party and then after that she published the guest list. So I read the guest list last month uh, towards the end of the month because I was looking for good thrillers to read and I saw a lot of recommendations on YouTube for Lucy Foley because she had a unique uh, view on how to write thrillers. So I read the guest list uh, last month and the short synopsis is that the guest list is about a group of friends inv invited for a destination wedding on an island off the coast of Ireland. Now, little do they know that one of the guests would be killed and a lot of secrets are going to be revealed. Now, it was a really interesting premise and it's more on the lines of these Agatha Christie's one room uh, mysteries where all your sus suspects are isolated and they're in, in the same place. So, it's a whodunit, like who who the killer is but this is different from other whodunits because in this uh, book what Lucy so here what Lucy Polly had done differently is she doesn't reveal who the victim is until the very end a lot you know as well as the killer so not only are we looking for you know who did the deed we're also looking for who the deed was done to so that was quite interesting and uh, she did this thing where she had multiple POVs, POV characters, but thankfully she didn't mix it up in the same chapter or anything like that. There were different chapters with different POV characters and each chapter was prefaced by the person who was the point of view at that point in time. Now, I wasn't a big fan of the guest list because I was able to guess a lot of the major plot, you know, the twists by almost towards the end of the novel so it didn't really interest me as much so I gave it a 3 out of 5. Now that was her latest venture. So I felt like this author had a lot to offer so yesterday I picked up the audiobook for The Hunting Party and this is the first time ever that I finished an audiobook in one sitting. So I started the audiobook at I think around uh, 6 or 5 in the evening and I finished it 1 in the morning. I really really enjoyed that audiobook and this was you know the one story that really gripped me from beginning to end. Now short synopsis for the hunting party. In the hunting party again we have a group of friends who go to a cabin for a New Year's Eve. So this is something they do every year. They go for a vacation every New Year's Eve. They meet up and they exchange stories and they catch up on each other's lives. Except that a lot of the a lot of the friends here are harboring secrets against the other friends. It was I think this was the first time I read a book in which I wanted almost all of the characters to die or to you know have some untimely end because all of the characters in this book were just so 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 mm, displeasing well anyways the party continues and then we see a lot of people not being who they were supposed to be a lot of secrets getting revealed and ultimately someone dies Again, like she did in the guest list, 
she didn't reveal who had died until right up till the very end. So we were left guessing as to who was the person who was killed, whether it was an accident and the person, if the person who did it was in, you know, the hun- the party as well. Now, what I liked about this uh, novel better than I liked about the guest list was that I did not see the twist coming and it was quite believable. It wasn't like, you know, you didn't see the twist coming but the twist was so unbelievable you wouldn't have seen it coming if it were it's thrown at you. In this case, the twist was believable. I just didn't notice it. I mean, there were subtle hints thrown throughout the novel. I just didn't pick up on it, which is strange because I do tend to pick up on these things. I read a lot of thrillers. So I really did enjoy that. So up until the very end, I was just like, okay, what's happening? Who's doing all this? And how is this happening? I mean, I was suspecting the wrong people the whole time. Okay, so that just goes to show that the same author can have a piece of work that you thoroughly enjoy and you can finish in one sitting and may also write something that was totally predictable and you didn't enjoy at all. So now I want to read her other works because according to her um, bio, she's written four books and I've now I've written I've read The Hunting Party and The Guest List. So there are two books left. So I'll be reading those as well. Except I don't know much about these two books because not many people have talked about it. I mean, The Hunting Party and The Guest List are well known because a lot of these booktubers have been talking about it since it falls in this thriller genre and I think it's the more popular of her books. So let's see if her other books hold up to what I've read so like till now. So I rated The Hunting Party a 4 out of 5. For me, it's very rare that I give books a 5 out of 5. It has to wow me to the point of, you know, I become speechless. I have no words to describe how much I enjoy the book. So a 5 out of 5 from me is very rare. 4 out of 5 is what I've given this. And then I would suggest that you should read The Hunting Party. I mean, you can read the guest list I, for people who are not, who don't read thrillers as much. They would like the guest list too because it does have some really good twists and turns here and there. But then for people who enjoy reading thrillers, I think The Hunting Party would be more up your alley. Okay, I talked more than I actually folded laundry. So I'm going to finish folding this laundry now. And... Uh, Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching me fold my laundry. Okay, everyone stay safe. Stay at home. Or if you're not at home, you're going out. Take proper precautions. Bye, everyone.